Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about chocolate eggs. Harry takes three and a third kilograms of the eggs but Ron takes two thirds of a kilograms of eggs less than that. Now before we go any further it's probably a good idea to figure out what that actually is worth. So if we do three and a third take away two thirds well, two thirds is like no whole kilograms and two thirds. So two thirds is just no whole ones and two thirds. So let's see where we get. So one third subtract two thirds, we can't do. So we'd have to borrow one from this three. Well, if we borrow a whole one from the three, that becomes two whole ones. But remember, inside a whole one, there are actually three thirds. One whole would equal three thirds. So the one whole one that we've borrowed, we'd have to add on the three thirds onto the next column. So one third add on three thirds would become four thirds. So this would actually change into four thirds. So then we can carry on, just like doing a subtraction column method. So four thirds take away two thirds would be two thirds. And two whole ones take away zero would be two whole ones. So Ron must take two and two thirds of a kilogram of the eggs. Now there is another way you could have worked out that two and two thirds. You could have started off by drawing a diagram for Harry. So three and a third kilograms. So you could have drawn a whole bar for a whole kilogram. Split, split it into thirds. So that's one kilogram. Another whole bar split into thirds for two kilograms another whole bar split into thirds for three kilograms and then we've got the extra third as well so that's three and a third kilograms but ron takes two thirds less than this so basically ron would take that one off and that one off and whatever's left would be what ron would take well ron has got one whole bar here, two whole bars here, and an extra two thirds here. So that's two whole ones and two thirds, which is exactly what we got doing the subtraction column method. So Ron must take two and two thirds of a kilogram of eggs. But there are 3.75 kilograms of eggs left in the box. And we need to figure out what was the mass of the eggs at the start. Well, the mass of the eggs at the start must be the three and a third kilograms of eggs that Harry took plus the two and two thirds kilograms of eggs that Ron took plus the 3.75 kilograms of eggs that were left. Now, let's figure out what we can do with this. Well, 3.75, 0 0.75 is the same as 3 and 3 quarters because 0 0.75 is the same as 3 quarters. So we could actually replace this 0.75 with 3 quarters. So we've got to add those together. 3 and a third, 2 and 2 thirds, and 3 and 3 quarters. Well, what we're going to have to do, first of all, is find some common denominators. So we need a common denominator for a third and a quarter. Well, a common denominator would actually be to turn everything into twelfths. So to turn a, th a third into twelfths, we would actually have to multiply that by four. So you'd have to do the same to the top number, which was a one. So one times four is four. So that be instead of three and a third, that actually becomes three and four twelfths. If we do the same to two thirds, well, again, we're trying to get a common denominator, so we turn it into twelfths. To get from three into twelve, we're making that four times bigger. So we need to make the two four times bigger. Well, two times four is eight, so that becomes eight twelfths. So that, instead of two and two thirds, is two and eight twelfths. The final one, to get quarters into twelfths, we have to multiply the 4 by 3, make the 4 3 times bigger. 
So we need to make the 3 on top 3 times bigger. So 3 times 3 is 9, so that's 9 twelfths. So that becomes 3 whole ones and 9 twelfths. Now what we've got to do now is add this up. So we've actually got 3 plus 2 plus 3, which is 8. And 4 twelfths plus 8 twelfths plus 9 twelfths. Well, that's like saying 4 apples plus 8 apples plus 9 apples. 4 plus 8 is 12, and 12 plus 9 is 21. So that is 21 twelfths. But there's a problem here. And the problem is that this answer of 8 and 21 twelfths, we can't just leave it like that. Because when you write, this is supposed to be a mixed number. But we've actually got an improper fraction within the mixed number. And that is not allowed. Because 21 over 12 is an improper fraction. Yes, you can have improper fractions. But not as part of a mixed number if there's a whole number in front of it. Because what we need to do is turn this improper fraction into a mixed number all by itself. So 21 divided by 12... How many 12s in 21? Well, one lot of 12 goes into 21 with 9 left over. So it's 1 remained 9. And because we're dealing with 12s, it's 1 and 9 twelfths. So what we're actually dealing with is we've got 8 whole ones, but the 21 twelfths is an extra 1 and 9 twelfths. So our final, final, final answer is 8 plus an extra 1, which is 9 and 9 twelfths. Final answer is 9 and 9 twelfths. And if you're being even cleverer, you could simplify the 9 twelfths to 3 quarters. And this is because 9 divides by 3 and 12 also divides by 3. Well, 9 divided by 3 is 3 and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the final answer, once you put the 9 in, is 9 and 3 quarters of a kilogram of potatoes. So reading back to the question, what was the mass of the eggs at the start? The mass was 9 and 3 quarters of a kilogram. If you were wanting to do that in slightly different units, you could say it's 9 kilograms and 3 quarters of a kilogram would be 3 quarters of a thousand, so it would be 9 kilograms and 750 grams because three quarters of a thousand is 750 either of those two answers would be acceptable even as a decimal 9.75 kilograms would also work